Okay, Eagle Run 2 3 here. Getting a few things done at my bench this evening and got a package from Amazon. I think a couple of goodies in here. So this is a cheap little uh, digital caliper to replace one that I've not working for whatever reason. Oh, this is cool. I ordered some arrow shell. So apparently this is the the grease that the AR-15 is supposed to be lubed with. Looks like it comes with a, a couple of gloves and a brush. That's kind of handy. A little metal brush. Oh, that's all you get right there. I don't remember how much this was, but that's not very much grease. There it is right there. So I'll mainly be using this for barrel nuts and stocks. So, all right, that's interesting. Well, I'll tell you what I normally use. I normally use this Valvoline synthetic, it's actually a semi-synthetic grease. And the guy that taught me how to assemble AR-15s, uh, he said just use a grease. It didn't act like it mattered too much, but the uh, AeroShell people want you to use that. So I picked that up just for fun. Not very much grease for how much it was. Oh, all right. I love Amazon for getting little things like this that I don't want to track down at a store. This is some skateboard grip tape. Mob grip. So it's super sticky. It's made for skateboards. I'm going to use this instead of doing some checkering on uh, a couple of Berettas. So, all right, that's cool. The last thing in here, looks like red Loctite, let's see here. Yeah, this is some uh, 271 red. All right, cool. All right, so here's a closer look at this Nico Tools digital caliper. This one might actually be nicer than my other one was. Looks like it comes with a battery. Oh, it comes with a spare battery. So, yeah, that might be nicer than my other one was. All right, cool. I don't know if it has auto off. That was uh, maybe 15 or $16 on Amazon. Um, I don't know why my other one quit working, but looks like I got a good upgrade here. All right, so a little bit more about this Aero Shell. Um, I didn't really say everything about it that I wanted to. I thought that this was more like eight or nine dollars, but I think it was more like five or six dollars. And this is Aeroshell 33 MS, which is now called Aeroshell 64. And the cool thing about it is that it meets all of the mil spec criteria for grease, and it also does not contain graphite. Um, a lot of the greases out there do contain graphite, which is um, not really good for. Um, not really good for your rifles and, and primarily using this on the barrel nut um, is, is the main place you want to use it. It kind of acts as an anti-seize and um, any AR-15 armor would recommend the Aero Shell. And so I picked it up. I'm going to be doing a couple of builds coming up and I wanted to just kind of try it. So really just a curiosity. I don't know that the Valvoline that I'm using that it has graphite in it. Um, I never looked. But apparently there is a another product that is called um, 
Honda uh, Molly 60 and it <clears throat> apparently has the same criteria and standards that it meets um, for the AeroShell and it's quite a bit cheaper um, so I might look into that when this is over with but there's enough in there for um, a couple of builds you don't really use that much it just seems so small compared to this this was probably 10 or 12 bucks and I've had it for years um, I've used this on every build that I've done so far um, I've taken the barrel nuts off as well and I haven't had a problem so um, not to say that what I've been doing has been wrong but this is mil spec and I'd like to give it a shot on the next couple of rifles so just a little bit more about the aero shell it's now called aero shell 64 I think it's formerly called 33 MS so got a new got a new name uh, as of when I don't know but anyway just wanted to share that with you if you have any questions leave a comment thanks for watching